God forbid I ever get into a fight. All right, are we in? This is a mic test. Mic test, mic test, one, two, three. Sorry about that audio that showed up. Uh, sometimes when you open YouTube, it just opens up right into a freaking short video, and you can't really do anything about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, how's this audio? All right, uh, this will be uh, just a minute while the stream starts, so uh, stay tuned for the start of the stream. The stream will be starting momentarily. Please stand by gonna refill my co I'm gonna need so much coffee for this I'm gonna take so many coffee breaks during this video mm. Okay, coffee break commenced. We were going to start this video with a coffee break. <laughs> okay. All right. So, do I even need my headset? Why would I even have my headset on? This is a great question. I don't, there's no audio that's going to be playing. I'm just going to try to figure this out. So, when I got these, these four things right here, these files, I got those from uh, someone who created this model right here. Let's go to Unity. So uh, someone created, where's the, where's the base? I think this is the base model right here. This is the base model, uh, the Caracal with the big ears. And he's got like a, kind of a nose going on here. You can kind of see his mesh underneath that. Uh, Spent more time on Blender at this point than Unity. I don't know how to share the wireframe. Shaded? There we go. So this is what this is what they look like without the wireframe in it. I think the wireframe looks interesting. But this guy. Ooh. Is this sharing my entire screen? I don't think this is. I don't think you can see my entire screen, by the way. Which, I, which I'm fine with, but um, that's actually probably related. If I bring up OBS, um, can I? Oh, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I don't know how to fix it, though. Oop. It's like too big. I don't know what that I don't know what that looks like for you guys. I can go I can move it out a little bit. Wait, what if I Oh my gosh. No, it doesn't help me. <laughs> uh shoot though. If I go like that and then there we go. Wait, is that working? Is that actually working? Okay. 
we 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 don't need we don't need the bottom there we go actually that works i've never streamed like this before so just give me uh give me a little bit of a step okay so oop navigating's a little different so this is this is my dude this is the original with those ears uh the model some of the models came with these like rounded ears on this guy i i actually also knocked his whiskers off point like you can go in and you can select this this guy and then go into his like his body you can go inside like his mouth and edit everything about him you can not everything though like i was like messing with his tongue and stuff i totally forgot how to use unity and i was using this as an example to like get him to be the right height all right, so what you can do on Unity is like adjust the size of the things. So I made his tail bigger. And like like there's a bunch of different points on there and I changed the angles to it too a little bit. And I moved the whiskers around and I forgot to like center them. So when you like move these th these guys, you get to like just on this plane or just on this plane. So yeah. So he should be flat on the ground. Look at those beans. Let's go see the beans. Yes, beans. We love the toe beans. I like this guy. So, uh, yep. So I, you can like, eventually, eventually, so I can recolor. There's ways to recolor on Unity and like resize and shape the proportions. So I made his ears, these are the rounded ears, I think. I made them bigger. Maybe I didn't mess with them at all. I can't remember exactly. But I made his, like, snout shorter. And then I had to, like, make his tongue a little shorter, too, in there. He's got his tongue. So when you're talking in VR chat, <clears throat> that's what these are for. Uh, that's what this is, a VR chat model. So when you're in VR chat and you're talking, uh, what's it called? Uh, vis, vis, vis memes? Vis memes. It, I forgot how to spell it, but it looks like vis, vis memes. It's like very specific programming for how when you're talking how this mouth tries to take what i'm saying and emulate the shape of my mouth or the shape of the words that the words make and you can see the teeth in the tongue when you do it so yeah that's why that's animated in there it's not even a lot of detail he's got little teethies i wonder if i can make because like i would like to have some like fangs sticking out does he have does he have like upper mouth fangs yeah, he's got a little bit. I want those canines to be a little bigger, but that's beside the point. I don't know if I can actually edit that. This is like my dude, but he he doesn't. I want to edit this ear right here. And if I go back into, if we look in just the wireframe, you can see all the different nodes that make up everything. And the first thing you notice is that most of the nodes are in the paws and the the face there's a ton of them in the in the face that's because of all the detail that's needed i guess um so i would need to select these points i want to make a, a notch in his ear i want to make a notch so like i want to make it look like a sword came up and swiped across his eye like this and into his ear because I'm kind of trying to design an original character who got slashed with a sword. So there's going to be a scar, that, or maybe claws or something, you know. There's going to be like a scar across his eye and in the same direction across his ear. And in order to do that, I would need to literally pull a, and uh, edit and adjust these points right here. To like make a slice out of it. And then I think I can I can recolor that in here, or I can do it in Blender. But today was all about doing that in Blender. So this is what I got going on in Blender. Is anyone here, by the way? I'm, I am reading out comments. I'm looking at the live chat. I got no one in the live chat so far. I'm going to take a little coffee sip break. And, and I'm such a noob at 
Blender that, oop, oop, it's a different system to move. I have no idea. So, oh yeah, in these files right here, I have these, I got these four like file packages and in each one of these are like Blender files, Unity package, and then whatever this kind of package is. Uh, and this is like the most modern one. But there's also, I, I have no idea which one I need to do or which one's which. Let's get the bright screen out of there. <laughs> Alright, switching between Unity and Blender is a little weird. So we have the guy here. It originally came in this default. So I'll do all these right up here. Blender's more complicated, I think, than Unity. Though, <laughs> I guess that makes sense because you can do more in Unity. Let's see, we have the 3D full view. It wants to zoom in basically on the key. I'll just, I want to leave it just trying to show you guys everything. I have no idea what all these windows are for. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoever set this up knows way more than I do. So usually what you get when you load a default Blender uh, file is you get like modeling as the first one. There must be a way to move these around. Yeah, modeling is the first one and then like uh sculpt sculpting that scripting i'm gonna have to add is it sculpting i'm gonna have to add sculpting in there okay so this is my guy let's get up here zoom in a bit this is my dude yeah so on unity i already edited the shape of this and i can just edit the shape of it in unity that's easy actually uh so like this, this, oops, this, sh this shape right here. I like the cute little like flat nose. It looks all right. I, I made this nose a little more stubby than the long boy. The long boy looks kind of like your weird uncle, you know, aristocrat. He looks like an aristocrat, this one. But this boy right here looks like a uh, little younger, little... I don't know, a little, mm, maybe a little femme too at that, but, uh, is the big, I don't like the big ugly nose. I don't, I, I made it a little stout, a little stouter. I can make him, I, yeah, like this, the, when you go down this angle, he like kind of smiles a little bit. He's kind of cute. Anyway, getting distracted. Um, so we're up here. Uh... And I have, oh my god. Alright. Uh, oh, does that say import, export? Oh my, I have, uh, this is supposed to bring, oh, this, this one? Switch the current view. Oh. The camera view, is there even a camera in here? I don't care. I could put a camera in here, but, but there's no, oh yeah, what if I go? So those are the different viewports here. All I really need, I don't need, I just need this view really. But I'll keep it, I'll keep it on this one because it looks a little better. I don't know why he's not colored in, well this is Blender. So if he's not colored in Blender and I upload this file to Unity, is it going to be colored like this guy? Or is it going to be just plain basic texture like this guy because then if i want to edit this guy in particular i'd need to take this guy and then upload him to blender or import him into blender and then do the edits and then import it back over to unity and then from unity you upload this guy to vr chat that's that's what you do hmm. and i'm you're basically watching me figure this out <laughs> i am figuring this out i've had breakfast i might need to leave if i see that my amazon package showed up i almost just literally went on my computer and looked up if my amazon package was here i could do that on my phone though I'm just going to take it slow. I spent all day yesterday doing uh, Blender tutorials. So 
I'm pretty fresh. Not familiar. I wouldn't say familiar. My package is out for delivery. Can I see exactly where it is? So I I also just got uh VR chat. No, I I just got uh a Quest 2 headset cuz they're $100 cheaper than they were a couple weeks ago. I think because Quest 3 is like has been officially announced, so they dropped the price. But I heard that the price dropped. So now the Quest 2 is $300, which is what it originally started at and then it went to like $400 for the base model, which I don't know. I don't think I'd, it's it crashes. It's like by itself, it's functionable, but I crashed like 10 times yesterday just hanging out in VR chat. <laughs> and uh it does it's not nice. Uh the battery life I guess is fine. A few you get a few hours, which is fine because it's 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 the Quest 2. It's not like the newest thing yet, so I'm not saying ooh, but like it is definitely a greater experience in vr to, to to experience you know looking at your hands and stuff and being in the world a little bit um i'm definitely not in it like a hundred percent as much as i could be but it is good can we i wish it would tell me sometimes amazon tells you where they are like oh you're seven stops away okay let's go back here all right so let's go back to the blender file and if if this is if this texture here if it uploads into unity with this te i'm not going to be doing that by the way i just need to, there's like a 30 minute long youtube video about uploading files in blender into unity to be able to have it function for vr chat so <laughs> but if this gets uploaded like this into unity without a texture like I, what I mean by the artist who created this model text didn't texture it here. They just textured it in Unity, which just seems like it because I can't find a texture here. It's mostly just armatures, animation stuff, which is all important, you know. Looks like the t looks like a there's like a a meshy skeleton underneath. That must have something to do with like scripting. Like those definitely are joints. And you can see every little tail vertebrae has joints and whatnot. Uh, the legs, those are plantigrade legs because the ankle's down there. You can look at the digigrade one. Oh, which honestly, I might as well do because digigrade's kind of where it's at. But we can start with this because I assume this one's just going to be like practice for me. So hit tab to go into edit mode. And again, we can see lots of mesh in the in the hands, lots of mesh in the face and the foot paw. Whoa, foot paws down here. Can I get a little bit closer look at those? That oh, that is way less detailed than my donut. I so the first everyone's baby. Oh, there's lots of details in the beans. I love it when um. Baby's first project is usually the the donut. Right. So let's this is just model. So I can edit that in edit mode. Sculpting is a little different. I might try sculpting too, but let's see. So trying to be an artist a little bit. The sword swipe would have gone like this way, perhaps from like this angle here. Because if if it came from this angle, it would have hit his like snout first. But if it hit from like his left side, it would have been came this way. So it's kind of what I wanted anyway. Let's go to my ref sheet here real quick. Uh... So yeah. The scars on the ref sheet don't quite... I didn't give this artist specific instructions to, like, align that or anything. I just kind of said, make it happen. Whatever happens, happens, you know? 
but yeah, you get you get the idea of what I kind of want to make. A little V-shaped notch in there, and maybe texturing some scars in the eyes, and we'll see if that works. Uh-oh. Um, blender? Nope. Oh, well. Here's my donut, I guess, if we're showing, if I'm playing show and tell here. It's not done, but... Uh, let's see, we started with editing, so I edited the shape of the Taurus to make the donut, and then put the frosting on it, and then did a lot of texturing and normal mapping onto this donut a little bit. I'm following a tutorial. I didn't, I didn't like, find, figure this out by myself, too. I'm following a very, very extensive tutorial, and we just did the sprinkles. And I basically just made little cylinders. Those are just little cylinders, little low, low res, low poly cylinders. And I basically <laughs> got them uh, like that. I think next, the next one is actually putting random colors on those, which is another like 20 or 30 minute lesson. So yeah, that's, that's going to be fun. Uh, but I do like, I do like the donut. Uh, where did my... Is that in docs? Have chars. Here we go. So I'll just keep that there. All right, in Blender. Let's see. Let's actually do something now. So the sword swiper came up here. I'm just trying to figure out the angle of this, and then maybe. Oops. Okay. Yes, I can, I can, yes, you can pick a point and just follow it. Cool. All right. I didn't know that until now. All right. So we want to start, let's start with. We. Is it shift to move these guys? Okay. Just trying to see what works here. It does look a little stretched like that. I do that. Let's do it a little bit at first. Yeah, all these need to get moved again. I know moving the points individually around isn't that good, but I'm just trying to be real precise about it. Little precise, anyway. All right, let's find these ones. I'm focusing right now a little bit. Okay, give me a, give me a break a little bit. Oop. Oh, the, the red, the red line is going to, I suppose that's part of the, cause the, this model has a random animation, a random animation, uh, where the ears flick a little bit. Okay. This is good. This is, oh, I just got to clean up a little bit. Wait, it doesn't even need to be on the screen.
Where am I? All right. Oops. Wait, what did that do? Ooh, that deleted this text. That deleted this point. So if you angle stuff too much, could mess up the faces. Oh yeah, I can say if I wanted to select, there's ways to select the lines too. If I wanted to select faces and lines and stuff. I'm like, how bad can I really mess it up just by moving a couple vertices? All right, standing back. I can smooth it. I can smooth a lot of this out in sculpting too. But so far, so far so good. Um, I'm also wondering if when I upload this into Unity, that, um, oop, different moving system, because, no, oh, no, I guess it, 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 it's just a, it's just a color, you know, I'm thinking all this fur and stuff, but this fur is actual texture, uh, this fur is actual texture, so, like, that stuff, ooh, he's got fur right here, though, that he gets, so there's the little notch, does it look like it kind of aims at his eye a little bit? Uh, so it's supposed to come up through here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, when the body, when the body, like, if you get cut, your skin opens, so it's at, like, the skin is, like, at a different angle, essentially. So when his ear would do this, it wouldn't just keep the main shape. The, the whole shape of the, if it's cut this much, it wouldn't just, like, See, I basically just made some parts of his ear disappear, but that's not what getting cut is. So that part would still exist. It would just be floating down here. So I need to, and I don't want to do this a lot, but I want to like move, and especially with gravity, this part of the ear would be like aiming a little down. So let's go into sculpting actually. I thought this would take a lot longer <laughs> to do that. All right, so with sculpting, you can see we can literally manipulate and pull stuff. I almost wish it would keep the same pose when I go into different the different things. Maybe not, but uh, let's see. That's bumping. Let's let's. Is there there? There's grabbing. Where's grabbing? Scrape, multi sun scrape, pinch, pinch. Uh, thumb, claw. Yeah. Oh, there's more that goes in. No, it should be up here. Nudge. Snake hook. <laughs> there's so many different options here. Let's just. Let's start with a little bit of smoothing. Shift F, yeah. Very, very subtle smoothing. So I want to like smooth that out a little bit. I wouldn't want to like smooth this. Out. Oh, maybe I would. Maybe that's what. Maybe that's all I need to. No. No. Maybe on this side too a little bit. 
could smooth the V out there a little bit. It would make it a little smaller. But then let's uh, go play layers. What's that manipulating one like inch? Uh, no, that's not what I want. I want some layers. Wait, I thought there was. Elastic deform. Oh, here we go. This is what I thought pinch would be. Okay. So we want we want that deform like a little down. All right. So it should look like it has healed a little bit and then this is just new skin essentially right there that looks good maybe if i go back one yeah just even just a tiny little bit you know let's see if i can like smooth out. I would have to add more vertices to the top there if I wanted to like smooth that out a bit more, I think. Which I forgot how to do, so that's pointless. Let's go back into modeling. Yeah, I think I like ooh. I think I like this boy now. don't exactly know if there's too much more I'd like to change. Anything else I can change? If I can do it in Unity, I will, because Blender's a little more complicated. Oh, yeah, with the... Let's go back... Yeah, let's go back into sculpting. And so if a sword swung up this way, there would be a little scar across his eye. Not on the eye itself, but as well. So the sword went yeah, like that. So, all right, try to follow, try to follow here. And I actually don't know, scars are recessed, right? Oh my god. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god. Crease? Can I? No, I want something a little sharper than that. Great. I don't know what that did. Grab elastic deforms. I want. Drawing this goes up, but I want down. Maybe I should do it. Maybe I should start it in edit mode here. Because there's a whole lot of detail on the face to work with. What I'd want to do. <laughs> oop, 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 beep, yep. Oop, yep, just trying to get in the right spot. Trying to move these vertices in the direction. Maybe sculpting would be the way to go. 
but I just can't I can't find it. I could do this, then they'll go up a little bit. So I need to be a little careful. Mm, it's kind of doing the same thing though. Yeah, I bet there's a way. I bet there's an easier way to do it. Sculpting. There's got to be. Draw sharp. I just want a tiny little. So if I. If I but make it small, but the strength strong here. What do we get at? That's not doing it. Not really doing it either. It needs to be a little bigger. Maybe just go back to the elastic deform. Uh, it's finding those vertices. Basically, letting me do what I do in editing mode anyway. All right, let's see if I can. Okay, like scars are supposed to be kind of flat anyway, right? I'm starting to think that it can just be decolored. The scars could just be colored in. Kind of wanted a sharp angle on it though and I'm not finding a way to do that unless I add more to a mesh or something oh that wasn't me grabbing it again We where am I? There I am. I need to be like right in there, huh? Well, why don't why don't I? All right, why don't I go back to modeling and then file save as? Oof. Save as docs. All right, avalanche practice edit. Okay, I'm saving it, and then I'm gonna try some more fucked up shit. Oops, it's got a little divot there. Ooh. Anything you can smooth, I can smooth over. That's not doing anything. That's not doing anything.
Anything you can smooth, I can smooth over. Why is that not doing anything? Is it doing something like back here? Okay, I'm trying to make it look like a scar is right here. Oh, there we go. Can I? All right, you know what? All right, as long as I'm there, why don't I just go back into modeling? Maybe I can do it easier here. Let's do the thing, the mod. Yeah, I can't really move it too far. If I don't do it like that. I'm sorry. I'm gonna need a coffee break. This is hard. This is um a figuring out process, I suppose. So if I step it up, step up the vertices like this, and then move them all in. Kind of is not the right direction. That's okay, so we can try again. Up, and then over one, and then over one again. So if I hit go here, hit G, all in, that's closer, not quite. All right, so if I start, let's start over here. Yeah, right over here. Right, so I want to get this recessed a little bit to simulate it being a scar. So going up a few. Uh, yeah, we can go over another. All right, so that would be my scar. That's that's accurate angle. So let's go over here. Hit G. Go in a bit. And good, we can add this one to the mix and perhaps that one as well. And not not that one, that one's the eye. So here, each. All right. Again. And one. Oop. Now just that one is such a little vertice. Yeah, I can see inside the model, the model. One little vertice at a time. Goes up that way. I'm trying to think about how I would smooth this. Oh, we're inside of him now. I don't mind this view. Whoa, there's a whoa, there's his teeth. He doesn't have a tongue here yet. So I did the ears already, the ear scar, which that felt really nice. I wonder if I somehow messed up the whole thing by, I don't know what the red line represents. Probably something to do with the most, where are the red lines? That red lines are, maybe that has something to do with VR specifically. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just like a drawn thing. Oop, let's try to move this one. Just trying to make it look a little smooth. So yes, if it goes that way, then it would, the sword swipe would have started maybe like here. So let's go like this. 
It's just a little detail, but I want to add it. Hmm. Is it the right angle? No, I don't think I want it like that. But actually, let's... Save. So we got the practice blend in here, at least. I'm liking this so far. <gasps> Was my package delivered? Out for delivery. We're out for delivery. Wait, what's here? Oh. Uh, is it going to show me on this little map where they are? Doesn't look like it, unless they're not even remotely close to me. I'm getting delivered to me. I'm getting delivered the uh, here while I, while I talk, I'll put up the beautiful Unity model here. Now, come on, let's see his face. Come on. Yeah, there's my boy. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna get a coffee refill as well. Oop. Yeah, there's my boy, and there's his like weird uncle. Iro or whatever. So I'm getting, I want to get this guy, except with that notch in his ear that you see on Blender, and then a scar across his eye. So the notch in the ear and the scar across the eye. And I can color that in here because it doesn't seem like this model's textured at all with stuff. If you, I feel like the guy that made it just made this base model in Blender, which probably took a lot of work and definitely deserves deserved the money I paid him for his effort or their effort. And then the uh, texturing done in this. That's a lot of work. I'm surprised people don't charge like thousands of dollars. Let me get a refill on my coffee. Hold on. It's been a while since I made home brewed coffee. Always feels nice not having to spend, you know, eight dollars on a coffee every day. So yeah, just trying to just trying to go into Blender and add those features in, which is not a lot. It's not a lot. It's just a little notch out of the ear, a little scar in the eye, which would mostly be recolors. But let's go back to the sculpting here. Oh, atrocious. It could be just like starting a scar that starts there. Oh, it just looks not like a scar at all. All right, let's, let's smooth it over and see what happens. Mm. part of me is thinking like if it was just a color it would be easy to like just go and then that's a scar but if it's the texture as well and by texture if it's like modeled with it i think a texture 
uh, when when someone says I'm going to retexture this for you, I think they also mean color. So I, I don't want to get confused with that, but um, I don't like how it looks like I'm caving in his entire skull <laughs> with this. Uh, I might undo that whole thing. Shoot. I don't think I'll be able to, like, undo all that just by hitting undo. It might just be easier to recolor because that doesn't look like where a scar is. It looks like someone hit him on the head with a hammer. <laughs> a scar would be, like, a tiny little notch taken out. I think I know how I can do that maybe, too. I go back and... I'd have to make it sharper, you know, otherwise it looks like a bump. <laughs> Ooh, that's in the center of the screen, kind of hypnotizing. Okay. So what if, what if, let's go here, wait, where is it? All right. Let's align these guys all right those guys so let's 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 just let's align them up a little bit let's get a line i'm just practicing here this 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 can't be this can't be the final There's, there's no, I'm just messing around here. Maybe I'm just trying to convince myself that, but wow, this is, this feels wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to realign these vertices. Should, trying to align anything together to make a line of vertices. If I can make a line of vertices, I might be able to... I might be able to <laughs> do it in a way where it looks sharper. Because no one's going to see this model from, like, super close anyway. So if I made it, like, super small and sharp, people will be able to see it more from a distance. And they'll be like, oh, it looks like an, a, a sword sliced that. Instead of like, oh, it looks like you got hit in the head with a hammer. <laughs> I would love to just pretend like I know what I'm doing as well. Okay. Uh, step two. Step two. Oop. Step two, let's take... No, let's start. Let's take these bad boys and move them closer. Do it separately for this side. Uh, it's a little funkier when it gets down here. Okay, so these guys are a little closer. Should I turn up? Should I just turn on the wire? For, nope. <laughs> I'm like, what would be a better? This is a little brighter. This is, I guess, the best we can do here. So, aligning these vertices with the scar there. Okay, and then these ones are aligned with it, but a little closer. Or, yeah, a little closer. So this row is going to be up. This row and this row are going to be the edges of the scar. And this row is going to be the scar. 
Why does it split here? I don't like how it splits here. Maybe I fix this one. It's a little messy right now. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's a good angle. It's a good angle. Hmm, it's like an extra vertice in here somewhere. Sorry, right, if it's a little wanky. Oh. Alright, so let's do these four first. One, two, four. Get them recessed. Oh, I didn't edit these guys. Okay. Do, 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 do. Wish I knew how to do modeling. I wish I knew. I, if there's an easier way, someone tell me if there's an easier way. Sculpting is probably the easiest, but I do know. What happened? Okay, we are beginning the little recess. Okay, let's. Shaping up one vertice at a time. Yeah, I'm so alone. Nobody's here beside me. Okay, it's looking sharper. I like that. I like that. Let's. Uh... Oh, tab. It's just tab. Yeah, it's looking a little sharper. Maybe it's too big as well. I can smooth it. I can smooth it down. This is, like I said, this is just practice one. This is just practice one. That's so pronounced. The deepest part of the scar sh should be where it is. That's good. That's good. Okay. Another coffee break. A sip, rather. I don't have to get more. Hey, fast kid. What are you doing? Oh, it's gonna rain today. Oh, just like that. No one's watching. It's all right. This is starting to get a little boring. Might end the stream soon. I did say that I stream every Saturday. So if you want to come hang out with me on Saturdays, it would be a treat for anyone to join. I do love me some streaming. I do love me some boys. Oops, did I say that out loud? All right, let's get two things gay and one thing straight. <laughs> oh, actually, I like that I'm using this for something, for some context that I appreciate, because, because now I, I, I feel like I adore it a little bit, you know? I feel like this is my baby. And I, I definitely appreciate my baby, you know what I mean? Oh, 
Okay, that's definitely looking a little better. You know what? A scar can be like that up to the eyebrows. Where's, um... Yeah, he does have little whiskers on his eyebrows. It's like right up there. Look at those. Did I make those even bigger here? Maybe. But yeah, his eyebrows would... His eyebrows kind of like some nose arch. Eyebrows right like below his ear there. Yeah, his eyebrows start here. So that's not like interfering with his eyebrows or anything. So that's, and the scar is mostly on the top anyway. Let's, let's get it a little cleaner down here. Actually, I'm really, this is actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I do feel like I'm being a little artsy fartsy up here. Narrow this in a little bit. Boy, I'm just pulling in vertices from all over the place, aren't I? I don't know if that necessarily is a good thing. All right. So a sword swipe slashed up here. Does it? Does that look? Oh, we got a shadow in there now. Nice. Yeah, it looks pretty detrimental. Like a detrimental scar. Oops. Nope. What's that? Uh. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit below the eye, mostly above the eye. This one covers his eyebrow, actually. Let me just save. Yeah. I could make just a tiny little bit below the eye right there. It would be like these ones. Actually, it's almost, whoa, eyeball, eyeball mash, all right. Yeah, it's almost like perfect. Maybe not that one. All right, let's go like this, yeah, basically like that. Boom, boom, want you in my room. Na, 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 na. Uh, yes, that looks good ish. Let's go back to sculpting, see what we got over here. I am on a smooth tool, so let's make a little bit on here. Smooth the eye part just a little bit in that little crease right there okay oh. all right so it doesn't need to be ooh, the shadows oh looks like a gnarly scar actually what what is what is it let's get a nice anatomical kind of position right here let's see the shadow does look pretty heavy right here on it On this side, smooth boy. On this side, scar boy. Yeah, it looks like a sword swipe caused a lot of damage right here. He's going to keep his eye, of course. He's not going to be like wearing an eye patch. Although, idea. It could be an idea. I don't know. I think that's all I got for today. I, I'm going to save it. I had a to-do list today.
my to-do list consisted of just being on my computer, basically. Ooh. Alexa, read notification. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. Link cable will arrive today. Yay. Sweet. I thought it was here for a second. Um, customize Redux in Blender. Done. That one's done. Um, for now, it's done. Uh, practice uploading that to Unity. And then maybe, maybe somehow I can extract this texture from this guy and pop it, pop it poop it right on him. Because I, I don't hate this texture. I kind of like it, actually. Um, my goal by the end of the day was to have, and it's only like quarter after nine. My goal by the end of the day was to have uh that just like that cat with this texture uploaded to vr chat but i might if the, if that texture doesn't just auto happen when i upload that to unity and i i can't just easily find a way to get this texture on him then i mean i mean well look at look at this guy this guy's the same way that guy looks like actually wait this guy looks like the model just straight from Blender. Yeah, this guy looks like the model just straight from Blender. Let's go back here. Yeah. Yeah, kind of the similar yeah, similar vibe going on there with no like no whiskers. No nothing. So I guess the whiskers, because the whiskers move. Well, I guess everything moves, but and the, the hair on the top of the head. The chest floof, the uh, all the floof isn't here. So if I go to this guy, none of the floof is there on that guy. So the floof is all added here. The floof is all added here. So I might just have to copy paste. Uh, is it? Would it? Would that be a shader? <laughs> oh my god. All right, well, thank you for uh, letting me talk about it. I've certainly discovered more about myself here today, and I, I hope you you did too. I'm sorry I didn't upload last weekend. I was busy trying to stay alive last weekend, but technically speaking, part one on my to-do list is done. I just need to upload that into Unity. Modify the character height, ear, face, shape, size, shape, tail size. The, the, that's step three. But step two, that's going to that's gonna take a bit just to figure that out. And then uploading that to VRChat. That's going to... That, that's probably going to be easier. But uh, we shall see about that. We shall definitely see about that. This is... This is good. <laughs> Today is good. Thank you all. For joining me on this wonderful adventure, uh, remember to hit like and subscribe if you liked this video, and I guess enjoy the rest of your day. I don't really have anything else to say, other than I will be trying to stream every Saturday. That's kind of the goal. Do a, do a stream, even just, not a game, even if it's just this, you know, every Saturday. I want to see his beans one more time. Beans! I'm upside down. Beans, 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 beans.